Hi, buddy. No, one of the most difficult things about adult life is sometimes you can't tell what you're feeling. And sometimes you just feel you're not happy. And sometimes when your birthday comes, you feel like you haven't made the progress that you ought to have made that year. And this year, I want to push a conversation with you on a topic that I'll be calling psychological inertia. You know, we all did some physics in high school and we learned this thing called inertia. Inertia is the state of no movement. Okay. It is the state of being unchanged. Ukotu pale, you're just there. And we normally say that you need the greatest force. You need the greatest energy when something is at the state of inertia. Making the first step is always the most difficult thing in life. Even for the car, for it to start moving from speed zero to go to one kilometer, that is the point at which it needs the heaviest gear. It uses the most energy and it needs to exert that energy to overcome inertia. We are going to look at psychological inertia from the perspective of our personal life, professional life, our business lives. Because for sure, sometimes we have inertia in our life. And the thing is, uh, this is much more pronounced for people that are in their late 20s, in their 30s, and in their 40s. A time comes in your life when you feel like your life is not moving. The birthday comes and you're like, what have I done with that one year? You feel like you're not progressing, like you're not growing, okay? And one of the most difficult things about this stage of life where you experience that feeling of inertia is that it is also the stage when a lot of people are prone to getting depressed, okay? And sometimes this depression is coming from that feeling of inertia, like there is no growth, there is no progress. And this is why it is very, very important for us to have this conversation of psychological inertia. It is a conversation that we ought to push in our offices because in the corporate life, a lot of people feel that they have inertia in their lives. And this is not necessarily a good feeling for a lot of people. Okay. We need to provoke ourselves to have this conversation about inertia so that we can begin to expound ways that we can overcome this feeling and become better people. Okay. Now, I will be talking to you as one of you. I have inertia in some areas of my life. Okay. Because one of the interesting things about inertia is that you can be making progress, very good progress in some areas of your life. But you have inertia, total inertia in other areas of your life. And the sad thing is that your depression, your discouragement, your loss of confidence in life will always come from those areas of your life where you have inertia. Okay. This is why it is important for us to identify those areas where we have inertia so that we begin to exert energy on those areas and so that we begin to make progress in our lives. Remember, we said that this year is about making each other better. It's not just about business, okay? It's also about asking each other, how are you doing? Okay, how are you coping with life? We do not want surprises from our customers, from our family members, from our friends. And this is why I am taking this initiative to do these videos, to provoke these important conversations. You may want to know how your spouse is doing, how your brother is doing, how your sister is doing, how a friend abroad in the diaspora, okay? Okay, somebody that you've not talked to for the last 10 years, how are they doing and how are they feeling about life? Because the best way for us to increase hope and opti optimism in society is for us to talk to each other, for us to provoke meaningful conversations, asking the hard questions. And this week, I want us to discuss this difficult topic of inertia and how we can overcome psychological inertia in our lives so that we can begin to grow and move forward. My name is Eric, the founder CEO of Maridadi Motors. Happy to move your status not just by selling new cars, but also by giving you ideas to move your life, your business, your family forward. Asante sana.